people are so attached to being right, and yet the tragedy is it's, it could be so easily to find out how you're wrong. If you just said to yourself, I don't, um, I'm not sure that I'm right, and let me go find people who have alternative point of views, and let me have quality conversations, not to pay attention even to their conclusions, but to their thought process. So thoughtful discussion, worrying about being wrong, but not to the sense of being paralyzed or uh, moving forward, but in the sense of trying to create discovery, uh, to have um, <clears throat> an exchange, to go after the person who has the most different point of view, who is the most thoughtful, and then have a conversation to see their point of view, whether a person could be both open-minded and assertive at the same time, that that creates a discovery process. It creates a fabulous learning. And that process it, it itself reduces the probability of being long, wrong and produces a great deal of learning. People are so hung up on being right, starting their discussion, and being deriving some sort of satisfaction if at the end of the discussion they were where they began the discussion. So that doesn't make any sense because there's not going to be any learning. So... Ego plays an important role in that, right? That's that, oh, the people who feel like they're, I'm good, I've got it, won't learn. If you've got it, you won't learn, right? So, so you have to get rid of this ego barrier, I've got it thing. Then the issue of weaknesses, like every human being has weaknesses, and, and it, as I say, it's the opposite side of thinking. It's the, in other words, if, you're one, if you have a brain that works one way and you're doing certain things that allow you to do things that way that you're excelling, it means that your brain is working in a manner that has its pluses that'll cause its minuses. So the creative person who's not reliable or the reliable person who's not creative. But if they don't embrace that, they're going to continue to encounter that. Ego barrier is the worst thing. And if we were raised differently, just imagine in the schools that uh, all along that people will always say, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has weaknesses. The key is really to understand what your mistakes and weaknesses are so that you can learn from them, right? I think in, in punishment is a, is, a, is a terrible concept. Punishment means that you made a mistake and you're being punished. I think instead of punishment, every time somebody makes a mistake, you, just, you should say the only thing that you need to do um, to get out of your punishment is first think, what kind of mistake was that? So if I'm in a situation that's like that again, um, how would I do deal with it differently not to make that mistake? So that learning should come from the mistake, not punishment, because you're teaching people not to make mistakes, where's where the learning comes from, not the appreciation that if you keep doing this over and over again, you're going to keep encountering the same outcomes.